This is London. Prime Minister Mr. Chamberlain is due to return from an urgent meeting with Chancellor Hitler at the latter's Alpine retreat in Berchtesgarten, Germany. It is hoped that agreement can be reached regarding Herr Hitler's attempt to reclaim the Sudetenland from Czechoslovakia. Hitler can't be contained unless we stand our ground. The British people are averse to war. But if conflict is postponed, and it can only be postponed, when it comes, it will be all-out ideological war. His Excellency and Mrs. Kennedy will be bringing two additional guests, their son, Jack, and a Mr. Casper Landry. I admired your opposition to Chamberlain. Dissent takes guts. How do you perceive it, Hallam? You are to go to Germany. This is our final chance. We need a declaration which Hitler will accept. You can't save the whole world, Hallam. Agnes wants you to come home. And you can't save me because I'm not in danger. Percy, in 12 months' time, the world will be on fire. You can leave with me tomorrow. No. You must not be reassured by the radio reports. Germany has not compromised in any way. From tonight, this house prepares for war. I did what I thought was right in 1917. But people didn't do what they thought was right. They did what was right. Some of us fought a war on your behalf, a war to end all wars. Well, it didn't end all wars, did it? The Jews are seen as immigrants, not refugees. They won't be refugees if we don't let them in. They will be statistics. Who is this? Who's calling? I don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> I want her home. We all fit into this household in a different way. We come and go through different doors. We eat our meals at separate tables. But we all give 165 Eaton Place as our address. And that means we're on the same side. 